in that first receiver position. Okay, oh, oh, steps on the gas, looks for the support from Tanga, back to Okeo, superb. <laughs> Kenyon 1-2. Straight down the middle of the park with a lovely inside step. Offloads off the ground and he finishes off what he started. More than okay from Okeo. <laughs> Conversion's a good one. And Kenya leads 7-0. Hayashi in midfield, this is Noguchi stabbing the kick through, Taga Ishida takes it off the bootlaces, O'Connor Kale getting back but he won't stop him, and Taiga Ishida, three tries in two matches. And then he decided to put it through the boot, he had enough passing done and he put it to the boot and it was a lovely little assist there, watch that, off the outside of the foot, bounces up perfectly. Lovely take in the air by Johnston Olindi but he is taken hard by Miyagami. Okotho Keo feeds it out, Stanga, Kevin Wakesa, and for support on the outsides. Japan up quickly, but goodness me, the handoffs, the power, the fending. Edmund Anya it was, swathing Japanese players aside. Attacking from deep here, the Shuja pride, Alvin Otieno, low centre of gravity. But again, Japan defending ferociously. Here's Brian Tanga, putting on the pace. Look at that, going through the gears and leaving Japan trailing in his big red Kenyan week. Tanga scorching through there, there was a massive gap in the Japanese defensive line. Three quarters of the pitch there, straight up looking at determination, pumping those legs. Serious turnover of those feet, wow, he is a fast boy. Great try. The Villa saw too much. Gyrations in the stands. What about the action on the pitch? Let's see. Tanga feeds it away to Olindi. Anya straightening. Anya piercing. Anya scoring. Third try for Kenya. Edmund Anya. His mother Gladys was Kenya's hockey team vice captain back in the day. Comes from good sporting stock, does Big Edmund. Let's see, can they close that gap? Turn back on. So Noguchi's throw, well taken by Tsuoka, and Noguchi away to Taisei Hayashi, the captain, looking for the runaround pass, it goes to Noguchi, that was clever, that was seriously intelligent from Japan, Noguchi dancing and jinking, oh he's done Edmund Anya, all ends up, set him to the shops and set Japan to the try line. Noguchi, wow, 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 oh my, that was a beautiful set piece. The double loop, came around late, he nearly fooled everyone there, my eyes went with the first guy. And he had the ability to finish it off as well, little goosey, little stutter step inside. I'm going to have this one lads, fair play to Noguchi. Do you know, it looked like the pass was wayward from where we were sitting, but actually it was floated perfectly for the second player arriving on the loop. Yoshihiro Noguchi, scorer of Japan's second try, finds Shotaro Tsuoka, Noguchi, Hayashi the skipper, Delayed on the pass, delayed too much, couldn't be taken. Abu Kuse, he's quick, and so is Jeff Oduwatch, the qualified policeman, laying down the law in Toulouse and applying the handcuffs to the Japanese comeback. Ten. Beautifully came around there, saw the try line, saw the space, got the head down and got the work done. Let's see how this goes. Very contestable restart, big Kevin Wakesa volleys it back and Kenya aren't done yet, Johnston Olindi, three Japanese players to haul him to ground, Oluwatch, does he fancy a double? Up to the 22 he goes, Brian Tanga, Johnston Olindi looks at Wakesa, then goes back inside, Tanga, goose-stepping, mesmerising, transfixing footwork, <laughs> Brian Tanga has the last word in the 13th place final and Kenya kill off Japan. Job done, Kenyans end up showing up day three of Toulouse. Got a handy enough win here, Tango under the post, down near their Kenyan supporters, give them something to shout out. He looks back to his best. Conversion slotted by Johnston Olindi and it will be 13th place in the overall Toulouse standings for Kenya. Japan's time as a core team ends with a defeat to the Shuja Prize.